Hello there and welcome back to my channel. How are you? My name is Achola. If you are new, welcome. Today on Achola's Closet, I thought we'll do another red carpet rose. As you may already know or maybe not, um, yesterday was the Brit Awards and um, you know there was some interesting looks and not so much interesting looks you know I was expecting a whole lot more than what I got so I just thought we'll look over and go over some of the best and some of the worst everybody that's in between we don't care um, but before we jumped into the video here on Achola's Closet, we just talk personal style and how to look and feel your best at any budget. And if you are wondering what I do, I am a mannequin stylist and also a personal stylist. So I make women like you look and feel their best every day. And um, if you would like to see more of me, find me on Instagram at Achola's Closet. Now back to our today's video. Um, I actually thought all of the award shows are done but they are actually a few more to go um, surprisingly so yesterday was the Brit Awards and um, as you may know they say posh people dress so well and so I was expecting a whole lot more for this red carpet than what we got and um, so we're definitely going to work with what we have and um, if you are wondering what I am wearing though I thought since we are doing the Brits, why don't I wear a British designer and that is self-portrait. Now I pair that with my Betsy Johnson rose earrings. But back to our today's video. So the first person I want to talk to you about is Miss Laura Whitmore. Now Laura is a host of Love Island and she is wearing this newspaper print sequin number here that I really love and I think it's very interesting. I love the cut of the dress and I also love that it's short because had she gone a gown then it would have been too much. So the fact that it's really short like that, I love it. It's got a tiny little slit at the front, square neckline, just enough. Now of course she paired that with the black strappy sandals. However, for the clutch, I wish it was done in the same material as the dress. That would have been perfect for me. But the feather, I don't hate the feather. Now, next up, we've got Miss Maya Jama. Now, Maya Jama is wearing this amazing black velvet outfit that I really love. I think the woman looks stunning in this dress. The fit is just perfection. And um, of course, she just stuck with all black with a little bit of with a little bit of diamonds because you know diamonds are girls' best friend. And um, I actually love her shoes. I think those shoes are sexy, and I need one in my closet. But I just love the neckline, and her makeup is also stunning. Now moving along to Miss Billie Eilish, as always. So she is wearing Burberry last night and um, it looks like we went from oversized trousers to sweats. I think that's where we got now. And honestly, it just looks like she doesn't care. So why should we care, right? And we're just gonna move on I'm over her. Um, however, we've got Mr. Harry styles and he is wearing a suit by Gucci. Now I love this because it's giving me feminine yet masculine feel in one outfit if you know what I mean. Like the suit is very masculine. I love the cut. The color is gorgeous. Now if you look at his button up shirt though, the neckline is actually embroidered and it's got a little bit of stitching there. It's like flower cut on it which is super nice and also if you zoom in the boy is wearing a strand of pearls which I love and um, I mean the messy hair just completed the look so well he looks like your grandpa from the 60s if you know what I mean 
Miss Adwa Aboa. Now she is wearing this beautiful silk satin gown by Galvan. I know it's basic. I'm basic like that. And um, so in the bags department seems like a lot of the ladies on the carpet were going for the same bags. I don't understand why. Um, but no, this is the second feather bag we're seeing. Um, but I mean, for her, the dress just fits beautifully. I mean, call me boring. Um, it is simple, boring, but yet it fits her beautifully and I love that. And um, for me, literally, as a stylist, what I would do is just swap the bag. I think I would have just given her a cute, smaller clutch. Now up next, we've got Miss Charlie XCX and she is wearing Fendi. Now this Fendi look is just so, <sighs> it's boring. I mean, there's nothing interesting about it and it's just black, black with the tool details. I'm not loving it. You can't even tell. Um, so no, next. We've got our Niger boy, Mr. Burner boy himself. Um, I think he looks amazing in this Bottega Veneta jacket. Of course, the color is lovely. Now, here's what I noticed on this carpet. It's like the men were dressed for a colder weather because we've seen a lot of knits on the men and things like coats and whatnot. Whereas the ladies were dressed for like a hot summer day. Honestly, I love that the men are so dressed up in their coats and everything because we barely see coats on red carpets. So this is very refreshing to see. And of course, he's got a turtleneck. Oh yeah, a turtleneck knit with a black suit and then add the uh, Bottega Veneta jacket on top of that with some square toe shoes which I really love. I think he looks awesome. And um, I mean, I hope he wins the award. He's up for international artist, Miss Montana Brown. Now she is wearing a Rami Cuddy couture piece. This piece right here, I have been seeing it a lot on Pinterest in the last couple of weeks. I don't know why it's been popping up on my Pinterest, but it's actually super nice to see it on the red carpet, if you know what I mean. Um, I think she looks great. Um, you know, last time about Ciara for the Benny Fair, I said I'm just over it. And honestly, I am <laughs> kind of just over this whole sheer hip high slit looks. And, uh, but I think this one here looks really good on her and her makeup was done so well. The little pop of neon bodysuit under the piece, I think it's just amazing. So, you know. Up next, you've got Miss FK, FKA Twigs. Now she is wearing a London designer, but the, by the name of Ed Merler. Now this one here is actually very posh and I'm loving it. Um, call me weird. I'm boring, weird, and I don't know, whatever else. But I actually love this. It is a cross right? Now pair that with a cropped poofy sleeve jacket. And then underneath, if you look closely, the trousers actually had a second layer that went from the waist to like just below her bust in this striped fabric that I really, really, really like. And then the blouse underneath, you can see the lace detailing just right down here. It's got a little bit of train situation happening. I actually really love this. I think it's very interesting, very British, you know? It's giving me early Vivian Westwood, if you know what I mean. I actually thought for a second she was wearing Vivian Westwood and then turned out not to be, but she still, she looks amazing and I love that. 
Up here you've got Lizzo and she is a milk chocolate and um, I mean to be quite honest with you I think this is tacky and ridiculous. Um, the dress like the pleated ruffle detail on her chest is not doing her any justice. It's not flattering. The bottom like the details on the bottom as well is not as flattering like the whole piece is just ridiculous okay i felt like we just wasted time on this look however i love that she's wearing it with such confidence and grace that i feel bad hating on the outfit i like her hair i like the makeup i also love her clutch like the chocolate bar clutch and um, there was a photo of her biting the clutch I thought it was really cute and that clutch I need it in my life another gentleman you've got Dave now Dave is wearing this beautiful printed suit that fits him impeccably and um, I love the print on print and um, the shirt is also the same print as the suit but in just different color now this is a me look, you know, I love my prints that I will do a print on print on print for days and um, I think the shoes is perfect. I mean, if you're going to do that crazy of a look, I'm glad that he kept the shoes just simple and basic, very clean. I like that and um, he looked great. Ashley Roberts. I know a lot of people, a lot of those people, we don't even know who they are, unless you're in the UK. But here in Canada, a lot of these guys, I've never heard of them. Maybe because I don't listen to radio anymore. But Miss Ashley here, just like at Vanity Fair after a party, she decided to show up in this ensemble right here that is the sequin skirt and a sequin more like a bralette top or crop top. I mean, here's the thing. I understand you love your body, you, you've got flat tummy, you've got the abs, but is it really necessary to just go out in public like that? Um, I just think it's so tacky, so trashy. Now I wish this was a full dress or you could have been like we could have done a bodysuit and then pop the skirt on top it would have been beautiful but this this is just a little bit too beach party for me rather than red carpet and I feel like unless you're a belly dancer who's performing on the carpet you shouldn't be wearing this floor east now our girl is rocking this white on white with black stitching number and I am in love. I think this is just such a powerful look and I am in love with it. The white suit is beautiful. The length is perfect. The jacket is oversized but not overly oversized that you feel that you feel like it's wearing her but she is actually wearing the piece. And I love that. I just think white looks amazing on her as well. So I love this. And um, if you are into trends and whatnot, oversized blazer suits are going to be hot for 2020. So honey, go grab your oversized blazer suits now. You can match that with short shorts or pants or like a short skirt with an oversized blazer and like a crop top oh, it will be such a good look but moving along next up we've got JLS now JLS I've heard of um back I don't I can't even remember like a few years ago and um, I actually had no idea they were still making music however they brought some looks on the carpet and we are going to discuss them. Now, I don't even know their names, but we are going to go from left to our right. So that starts with the short guy here. He is wearing 
black pants, some sequin boots, and a blazer. I love the blazer and the embroidery detail on it. Now, I'm just wondering if it's a part of the blazer or I think that's the color is it a scarf? Oh, it's a scarf. But now the scarf with the flower embroidered on it is just so beautiful, so dramatic. And of course, he has to give you a shirtless moment, which I really love. I think this is such a cool look. Right up next, we've got the guy in the white suit. I think the suit just fit him impeccably. And um, I love that he didn't put a tie or a bow tie with that because, I mean, who needs a tie, right? Like sometimes, just because it's red carpet doesn't mean it has to be bow tie. And Third one here is the guy in the black suit and I love it. I think those guys, for the fit, they got it perfectly. And um, everybody's kind of representing their own personal style, but yet as a group, it worked so well. Now him, he's got this black tuxedo on with a shirt that had the pin on the collar. And then it's got a pocket square, just clean suit with, again, a boot, which I think is really good. Like all of them are wearing boots and I love that. Now for our last guy here with the dreads, that's, I know, the super handsome one. Now he is wearing a nice skinny trousers, paired that with a long coat. And I mean, talk about brooch, right? That is a statement piece. Again, pair that with a white shirt under that just fits him so well. I wish it fixed his pant though on his way to the carpet because you can see it all bulged up on top of the boots and I don't think that was the initial idea for the outfit. But otherwise, the guys look great. I love their looks. That Spice Girl herself and that is Sport Spice, um, Melanie C. And she is just wearing this black dress here. I mean, talk about boring, right? I feel like we could have done so much more with this look, but I don't know. Just so boring and adding that belt on it didn't like it. No, with no point for the belt at all. Um, Next up though, one of my favorite, favorite looks on the carpet definitely goes to Ellie Golding. Now she is wearing this beautiful piece with cutout details that I really love. I think she just wears it so well, like it's very interesting and I love the way they place the cutouts. Um, my one thing with this look though, however, is I wish she didn't wear black shoes because I feel like the black shoes is a bit too chunky and also too heavy for this outfit. I feel like this outfit was so airy, so feminine, so very delicate and I felt like maybe like Continuing on with the gold accessories, I would have done a gold shoes. I think that would have been beautiful. Or we could have done like a light pink shoes just to complete the whole look a lot more better. Or we could have even done like the green or even the orangey red or a white. Just any of the color from the dress itself and not the black. Up next is Haley Steinfeld, and she is wearing this beautiful navy embroidered number that I thought was really beautiful, but just a little bit too old for her. Um, I think it's a beautiful dress, just not for this girl. It's almost a bit too old for her, and um, 
it feels like the dress is wearing her rather than the other way around but I mean she's a beautiful girl she looks beautiful and um, Paloma Faith is giving me grandma vibes with this look it almost felt like she's going to church me wonder if she was on her way to church or she was coming back from the church and decided to make a stop on the carpet if you know what I mean but for like the red carpets no absolutely not another one of the looks that I thought was really cool is Miss Michelle Keegan and she is wearing this sequined number here now if you look at the front and on the side I think the cut of the dress is interesting and it suits her so well I love that she paired it with that silver shoes and complete it with a black clutch if you also look at the back of the dress it's got like this beautiful sexy low cut back that I really love but one of my only issue with this dress is the bow. like a cute hair bow accessories is beautiful but as a grown woman a bow right on your stomach it's not a good look and um, I just thought it was unnecessary and it was in a different color as well which I'm like why why is it in a different color like we could have done that bow in the same silver as the dress and still made a statement and not this black and silver thing so for me the bow can go I don't really care for it Iris Law that's Jude Law's daughter and she is in this beautiful black number here that I actually like. Um, I like the cutout. I also love the balls or is it buttons? Oh yes, the buttons, they are just so nice. And I love that it goes around all the way to the back of the dress. And um, her makeup is done flawlessly and I, and I love that she's done it with this strappy sandals I just think she looks really beautiful and I love that um, extra bonus that I wanted to talk about um, Jorge Smith or is it Jora, Joria <laughs> I think I'm murdering this name but she is uh, this singer right here I want to know who decided to put her in this ugly jumpsuit number with the matching boots because I just think it's such an ugly look it's not flattering it's not sexy nothing like I don't understand who decided that she can go out looking like this all right and that brings us to the end of the video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy give this video a thumbs up if you like and also Comment below and let me know who you thought was your best dress, who was your worst dress, and who you thought just didn't even put an effort in their looks. I would like to know. And um, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button if you haven't already, or just hit on my face right here. And um, also hit on the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. But with that being said, you have a great rest of the week, and I will see you very soon. Bye.